think 50 hours of gameplay is no time at all? We have 10 titles where you can play for hundreds of hours and still come back for more. They say time is relative, which means that no one can really get mad at you for playing video games for literal days. I've spent ages in front of the screen, you say, and haven't left my room? Well, whales never ever leave the ocean and no one gets mad at them. That's way more time than I spent playing games. See? It's all relative. Anyway, the point is you shouldn't feel bad for devoting hours on end to a video game. They are made to take time and our time they do take. The immersive worlds, the engaging stories, the addictive combat, it's all there for us to dedicate ourselves to. And we have some lengthy titles with all that and more to keep you playing long enough to grow a beard both in-game and out. Or in my case, no beard. Hopefully. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Here are 10 games to put a 30-hour story to shame. I'm gonna date with whoever's behind this. It's not even fully out yet, and it's already possible to sink hundreds of hours into Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Unlike your regular sword swinging RPG, Bannerlord is a sandbox world where you can strategize and fight through it as you like. You can scroll out to view a world map bustling with warring factions and hapless peasants. Come back here and die, looters. Then get up close to third person fighting. You start out alone, but the joy and necessity of Bannerlord is building an army to fight by your side. So when you step into battle, you'll have a selection of royal grunts willing to throw their lives away just so you can realize your dreams of being slightly more important than you were yesterday. It's a chance to trick yourself into believing that you would have been a great knight in medieval times commanding armies and bothering looters rather than the reality of being caked in mud slaving away in a field somewhere. Ah, uh, we can dream. Victory is ours! <laughs> None of Assassin's Creed's worlds are particularly small. From the beginning, the Stabby franchise has been all about those endless horizons just waiting for you to invest some serious time. Eagle dive into Odyssey's ancient Greece, though, and when it comes to the hours it'll take to see every inch of this sprawling world, you're going to have to block out some serious calendar space. Whether you're just sightseeing or battling to the death on your trusty boat, the Adrestia, Odyssey's world constantly offers up something new. You might have finished the campaign, but have you killed all the cultists? Play the free extra stories, uncover the new sink points, got yourself a giant stag and hurtled along the shore with it? Yes, Louise definitely wrote this entry. Can you tell? <laughs> Is Dark Souls just on this list because it's so hard it'll take hundreds of hours plowing through death after death just to get anywhere near completion? Partly, yes. But even without that famously stern difficulty, the game is long. It'll take new players about 10 hours just to understand the game's systems. That advanced die, try again loop will eat up entire evenings. Not to mention about a billion other undead things hiding around every corner. I see you, skeleton. At first, you may wonder why you want to spend hours wandering through dark, dank ruins fighting on the brink of life. But why do we do anything in games? It's fun, or at least it is the first 20 times I die. And then I just get mad. No, I'm not going to bed until I've killed this boss. Even if you're the most dedicated speedrunner, you won't be able to complete the longing in anything less than 400 days. 
Yes, you heard that right. As a faithful little servant, you must wait for months on end below the earth for your king to awaken. How you spend that time, however, is up to you. You could start up the game for the first day, quit and then log back in 400 days later to see the ending. Easy. Or you could help the cute little shade decorate his house, read classics such as Moby Dick, a lengthy feat in itself, or step away from the light and head deeper into the caves. Belonging is not just an idle game. There is adventure to be had if you're willing to wait. Yeah, there's lots of waiting. It's not a game to be played for hours on end like others on this list, but over short bursts now and again, you will spend a long time with this lovable cave dweller. For his sake, I just hope it's worth it. Okay, so obviously I don't actually live in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, but do I? After a hundred hours as a white-haired and gravel-voiced Geralt, it's hard to come back to the real world. The environment of The Witcher is captivating, the story deep and intriguing, and the people that populate it believable. And of course, I'm badass in The Witcher, and pretty mediocre to very weak in real life. As the monster-bothering Geralt, you'll make your way across the world fighting off ghouls, harpies, and all manner of foul fiends, perfecting your skills to save frightened townsfolk the world over, or accidentally make their lives worse. Despite the life of a Witcher being a thankless experience, you'll grow to care for the characters involved, and soon real life will slip away and Wild Hunt will become your priority. Can I finish this by Friday? No. Sorry, I have villagers to help, beasts to slay, and pretty flowers to pick. It's clearing up. If you haven't yet lost your life to hours of RimWorld, then you are in for a delight. Space, unicorns, crazy body enhancements. This sci-fi wonder lets you live out the weirdest and probably scarily most realistic idea of what it would be like starting a colony on a new planet. Thanks to a smart AI, how your story unfolds is random but makes total sense. Your colonists are unique individuals. One couple might be happily married, then a partner chooses to cheat and it all falls apart. If you add too many alien enhancements to save a wounded soldier, everyone else on the base will be terrified of them. And sometimes things devolve into cannibalism. Hey, it happens. RimWorld gives you a constantly changing experience, making you addicted to looking after your blob people. Trade or attack other camps, pillage your planet, and make difficult decisions like whether you should harvest and sell the organs of your people. Stop complaining. Just use your third kidney. Sheesh. <laughs> Minecraft is a game of endless possibilities, with the never-ending world sprawling open before you. But after months of playing, just when you're ready to put your castle creating to rest, a new update appears and it's time to start exploring what Minecraft has to offer all over again. This time it's adorable bees, if you're wondering. And then there are servers to join, stories to follow, and new seeds to explore. There's always something to do, and quite quickly your hours of play will stack up like bricks to the hundreds. I have lost many days, both in-game and real life, to just walking from desert to mountains, to snowy tundras to swamps, never boring of the blocky scenery. Then there are things to build, and more to build, and more, and more, until you've created the entire Earth in Minecraft. Or at least one person has. I'm still hiding in my dirt house every night. It's cozy, okay? 
Most open world games have us crawling through medieval mud or riding through skyrise sci-fi cities, but it's the realism take that with a pinch of salt in GTA 5 that keeps us coming back for more. I would never drive on the sidewalk just to see what happens IRL, but am I glad I get to try it out in game? You bet. There is, of course, a gritty and satirical story following the three protagonists, but it might take you a while to complete as the joy of exploring and committing petty crimes in Los Santos and Blaine Country will easily take up most of your time. When you do finally complete the story, your schedule will be displeased to know Grand Theft Auto Online is there to keep you handcuffed to the game. You can spend even more hours driving and flying through the world and pick off new quests with friends by your side. Or as a lone mountain lion. Oh dear, be careful of those. Stardew Valley feels like a lifelong commitment but in a good way. The gradual progress of building up your farm from fallen logs and weeds to a non-stop empire of production is what makes putting the hours in so appealing. Your modest two cows will become a herd of cheese-making machines. Your wine-making will transform from a few bottles to enough to keep the whole town red-faced and jolly and your fish farms will produce more row than you'll ever know what to do with. Seriously, what should I do with it? But even after a hundred hours and millions in the bank, there's still secrets to uncover. One day I will make dinosaur mayonnaise and your farm to maintain. You need to give the Junimos a day off sometimes. Basically, on a farm, the work is never done. So pick up those truffles, squeeze some more oil, and turn those millions into billions. Or relax fishing or something. Let's face it, only spending a hundred hours shooting your way through Destiny 2 might not even get you your favorite gun. Even with the campaign levels so far in the past that you may as well have done them in another life, you're still finding new things to do. You understand that a life of grind is a life of grind. Yet that still doesn't stop you from heading out on another patrol, venturing into a new strike playlist or into the chaos of the crucible. After over 100 hours, Destiny takes on a new role in your life. A safe comfort blanket of endless rewards, gently ticking off a to-do list of light. There's your ghost, like always, happy to quip when things get tough. And even better, if you've got it on your to play list, you can even experience the majority of it for free. Perfect. This doesn't make sense. What's that, Matt? I forgot to include any Total War games. Sorry, I can't quite understand you through the locked door. Anyway, those are 10 games you can lose hundreds of hours to. Let us know what keeps you playing for too long, share your amazing Steam stats, and remember to give us a like if you enjoyed. It won't take a minute. Subscribe to the channel for videos just like this, and if you do already subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss our uploads while lost in a game for 20 hours. What's that, Matt? You want me to let you out? <laughs> no, no, no.